the uh, audio may not be up to much today. Uh, I'll try my best though. So new into stock, we have a BMW 3 Series 3 litre 335D X-Drive M Sport Touring. It's automatic, it's got paddle shift as well. It was first registered the 29th of April 2015. Fuel economy, urban 41.5. Extra urban 54.3. Combined is 49.6. Nought 62 time of 4.9 seconds at top speed of 155 miles per hour out of a 308 brake horsepower 24 valve engine. Uh, road tax, 12 months is 195 pounds and six months is 107 pounds 25. I'll just show you around it. From the front there, we've got Xenons, we've got headlamp wash, parking sensors, twin spoke diamond cut alloys with dark silver centers. It's got uh, the blue metallic calipers, the M Sport badge on the side, power folding door mirrors, the roof bars, rear privacy glass, power opening tailgate from the switch. You've got the parcel net there, rear load cover, uh, plenty of space at the back here, rear parking sensors, there's also a reversing camera as well, power close, twin exhaust, privacy glass again, integrated rear spoiler, rear wash wipe, bucket seats in the back here nearly fell in I am um, very very nice leather looks like absolute brand new looks like it's never been sat in just say so these uh, airbag in the B pillar airbag in the C pillar and um, this nice kind of checker plate finish on the door handles rear armrest two cup holders there we've got parcel nets here it's uh, really really nice three seat belts um, just just as brand new in the back here. I'll just take you for a ride in it. Keyless go. That's the key right there. Um, that's a, a dash cam, but that uh, doesn't come with a car. I'll just tell you that now. Um, start a button. On the dash there the car's got full service history um, it's a digital service history but it's not as bad as the normal digital service history where you have to ring the dealer and get a printout you can actually check on the vehicle that uh, it has been done and when it was done um, and the way you do that from any screen we go into menu and then you see there multimedia radio telephone navigation contacts connected drive vehicle information and settings we we want vehicle information, click vehicle information. And then you've got quick reference, picture search, owner's handbook, onboard trip computer, trip computer, vehicle status, click vehicle status. Then you've got tire pressure, perform reset, engine oil level, measure oil, engine oil level, and then service requirements. Uh, that's what we need there. So service requirements, click on that. At the top, you've got service history, engine oil, brake fluid, front pads, uh, so you can you can scroll through all those and check them but service history click and here we've got 3rd of the 5th 2016 at 19,416 miles serviced at BMW garage 09063 that's as much use as a, a chocolate teapot it should have the uh, the, the dealer's name so then you have to find out who dealer 09063 is anyway there you go it's not impossible the next service 13th of the 6th 2017 at 38,600 miles that was at dealer 08730 then up 2018 26 the 2nd 2018 to be precise at 56,608 miles uh, serviced at BMW dealer 08730 again and then it's just been done 4th of the 2nd 2019 at 75,744 miles it's now done 75,967 um, we've had lots of cars off the the guy who owns this and we've had motorbikes as well they're always immaculate they're always kept on top of 
as far as servicing goes, tyres, you name it. The, the, I'm, I'm sure he won't mind me saying, he's, when it comes to his cars, he's a nutter. It, but that's a compliment. It's not an insult, it's a compliment. So anyway, it, he's just had it serviced uh, to sell. We were selling a bike for him a, a couple of years ago and he had new tyres fitted before he sold it. Um, decent guy. I'll take you for a ride in it anyway. So it, th there it's showing, full service history and uh, the, the car drives absolutely fantastic. It's like brand new in the front as well. It, this, this car is 75,967 miles. The, I can't see a mark anywhere, not, not one mark. The seats look like, uh, I mean, I've sold BMWs, new BMWs and new Mercedes in, in the past. If somebody sat me in this car with a blindfold, I'd swear it was new, it's that good. So anyway, I'll take you for a drive in it. So. That's, uh, if we click forward there, that's into reverse, pull it back, drive. It does have stop start on it, and we've also got Sport and Eco Pro. So away we go. Uh, that clicking sound, that's the, just the doors locking as we set off. We've got heated seats, which are, are there. They're also electric memory seats. I think the three position electric memory seats. Let's see what we've got here. I think that's uh, lumbar support as well. Got this eye control here, and so sport. And he, that's in sport. You see there, sport. Let's just see if sport. And that's sport plus. It means nothing to me. I'd rather be comfortable. So back into comfort there. And then you've also got Eco Pro. It tells you on here what power you're putting back into the batteries climate control that heated seats warming up very quickly now I'm just going to give it some gas when we roads are nice and dry today it's windy but uh, I'm just going to give it some gas as if we've got a clear run going up this dual carriageway here we go fast enough it, it just it takes off um, it, it was uh, described to me as being a weapon <laughs> and it is bit of room in there for your mobile phone or whatever we've got a charger here place to put, put your phone you can also move the gear stick across there and uh, change up and down like so or we've got the paddle shift change down on the left and up on the right speed limiter there let's just see now will that be I should have checked this before I came out right so cruise control there set like so I'll, I'll do it on the motorway but I can I can see that's working now We've got Xenons on the front with the uh, high pressure headlamp wash. Also front and rear parking sensors. We've got a reversing camera. We'll just uh, onto sat nav there, I think it is. Yeah, that's sat nav. You can have split screen. There you go. All your information on the right and you can actually change what information you have on the right I think although I don't want to be doing that while I'm driving so I'll show you how to program the sat nav later and also uh, pay your mobile and you can also stream audio through from your phone through the speakers we've got here Height and reach adjustable steering wheel. That's the stop start, which I really, really hate. I can't just find the button to switch it off. Oh, I bet it's there actually. Don't, can't see it for the indicator. Yeah, that's, that's where it is. So we'll knock that off. Just above the start stop switch. 
power folding door mirrors just check them yep they're working fine door mirror is working fine speed limit on the motorway it's high up here and it's uh, as I said very very windy blowing a gale today obviously the motorway is not big enough for him he has to drive up the hard shoulder <laughs> with sports seats uh, thigh support here which pulls out Fits, sits right at the back of your knee, makes it very, very comfortable. Just get this backrest back a little bit. Yeah, that's that's it. Brilliant. This uh, checker plate finish to the dash, the gear tunnel, the door handles, uh, and, and these very, very susceptible. If you if you wear a wedding ring or or any form of ring, it's very, very easy to scratch. There's no marks on it whatsoever anywhere it's just it really is beautiful and, and this is just as it he's, he's brought it brought it in indicators on the left wipers on the right your lights are here front and rear fogs here we've got just check that he was a bit late coming through the lights there electric windows but it this this engine is superb oh we've also got a great addition here which i really really like in the screen we've got heads up display so that's telling me how fast i'm going at the moment Motorway, and we'll try out uh, if I can get to 70. <laughs> that's that's just awesome. So we're we're at 70 in a, the blink of an eye. Uh, switch cruise on. Just gone at 67 there. Just click it up till we get to 70. And it's also showing above what I've set there's cruise two. That's in green above the white speed. We we're just there we go, 70 miles an hour, dead on. 1500 revs. So uh, fantastic diesel engine. It's just very, very quiet, nice and smooth, no vibrations, no rattles, and honestly. <coughs> If I wanted anybody to check a car or check the quality of your car or the paintwork, the interior, whatever, I'd, I'd get the uh, I'd get the guy that owns this. He's, uh, he is he turns it into a science. Right, we'll be coming off at this next one, so just tuck in here. Behind this Mercedes that looks like a an upturned boat. Um, a split folding rear seats. You've got a rear cult, rear load cover, rear parcel net. It's um, electric tailgate opening or power tailgate opening whatever you want to call it and it's also power tailgate closing little button on the back press it and it shuts it's uh, it's got got everything you could possibly want in this car but it, it it's a, a wolf in sheep's clothing just looks like an ordinary BM from the outside but uh, goes like the clappers It's, um, it's a joy to drive. Nothing to spend on it. All the tyres are good. As I say, just been serviced. 
um, body works mint so is uh, actually he'd probably he'd probably have a fit if he saw me driving behind a concrete mixer so I'll, I'll just pull back a little bit I'm, uh, I'm going to get my 360 camera out I think and I'll do a three, 360 interior of this, it's so lovely, you just won't believe it. And you, you certainly won't believe it done 75,000 miles, you'd think it was a new one. I think there's a couple of little marks, full disclosure, there's a couple of little marks on the alloys, um, but nothing, nothing too bad. And um, we've also got uh, a centre missing out of the front near side wheel, the, the BMW, I noticed that before, uh, I would imagine he's got one of them on order, so we'll, we'll be replacing that, but this, just, effortless. Okay, we're doing. Well, what's the speed limit? Man? Fifty. We're doing. We're doing fifty. Um, a thousand revs. It's ticking over doing fifty. little bends here together just absolutely perfect I'm also getting a blue sign <laughs> unfortunately I don't know what it is it's uh, it's a, the sign in the on the heads-up display was also down there and it, it was a, a blue foot <laughs> which looked like it was on the accelerator I'm not sure what that meant. We'll see if we can get it up again. And the, tr the trouble with cars these days, uh, John and myself sell any make or model that, that we fancy. When I used to be in dealerships, you'd be, you'd be answering questions all the time. It'd be like a mastermind when customers came in, and even the stupidest salesman would learn all the features. Um, of the vehicle uh, and we'll be able, able to explain them to you but we've we've probably got about uh, 20 different models on the forecourt and I, I'm doing nearly a probably try to do a video a day of each vehicle as we sell them and, and we've been very busy the last two days we're only a little garage we, we've sold six cars four of them yesterday um, so it, <laughs> plus there's my my age to take into account I, I can't remember all the stuff on these cars these days. I've got to, as I've let my foot off the accelerator there, the, the charge needle, it's gone from power to charge, done it again. And it says there that since we've set off, we've gained 0.8 of a mile through uh, harvesting or re-harvesting the uh, electric charge here when we're slowing down. Climate control. What have we got? What else have we got? So here, there you go. That's showing what's uh, dreadlock holiday playing there. We've still, with it being the split screen, we've still got part of the uh, sat nav information. I'm just uh, split screen. Click that. Split screen. So we can have a map. So we can have the map there and the 
um, telephone information or your media information or you can have the full screen as the map Let's just see if we can do that again split screen so we'll knock the split screen off and then we'll go into nav there you go so that's a full widescreen nav the radio media will be there that's then menu in the center multimedia radio telephone navigation contacts connected drive vehicle information settings see what connected drive says oh that's the BMW services so back there you've also got an option switch okay, so that brings up a split screen again we'll go back telephone phone book last number redial receive calls down number Bluetooth devices we'll click on that so there you can uh, I would think there you'd actually be able to we'll, we'll see later but you can probably play music through from a different phone than the one that's connected CD DVD music collection online entertainment external devices click there that's it so Barry's iPhone 10 that's the only one at the moment uh, or, or auxiliary connections so Bluetooth add new device and then it's just showing you if I click over there yeah I can remove the device so show you how to do it when we're, when we're stopped. A proper handbrake though, I, I always like to see that. Not a big fan of electric handbrakes. see here so we'll go back while we're at the traffic lights here go back go back into menu then telephone you've got Bluetooth devices at the bottom so Bluetooth devices click Bluetooth device you've got add new device Barry's iPhone 10 there click on that oh, oops I'll just go back because I uh, made a mess of that. So Barry's iPhone, click sideways, and there you go. Split screen, configure device or remove device. Click remove device. That's it gone. We'll just click on, we'll clear it out while we hit remove device. Remove device, click in the center. That's gone and his iPhone there. Click sideways, click the center everything gone that's uh, as I said that heads up display is, is brilliant you can uh, see your speed without taking your eyes or moving your forward vision at all. The car does run away with you. It's uh, so smooth and quiet. Handy as well with being in the state. I'm not sure whether he's leaving them in, but also in the back, 
there's um, a boot liner and it's not just an ordinary boot liner it's quilted so I'm assuming it's for his dog but, but it lines all the sides and the floor and uh, it's obviously quilted so nice and warm for the dog here we are back at the garage right 